We want to find the first and second order partial derivatives of the function z equals log of xy. There are a couple of ways to approach this. The first is to simplify the function. Recall that the log of ab is equal to the log of a plus the log of b. We'd apply that rule to our function. That means z is equal to log of x plus the log of y. Now we can take the first order partials. Del z del x is equal to del log x over del x plus del log y over del x. Well, the first derivative of the log of x is simply 1 on x plus in the second term we're looking at how the log of y changes with respect to x when y is held constant. Well, it doesn't change. So it'll be 0. So we have del z del x is equal to 1 on x. Similarly, del z del y is equal to del log x del y plus del log y del y. And that's equal to 1 on y. Another approach is to use the chain rule. Recall dz dx is equal to dz du times du dx. We have our function z is equal to the log of xy. We'll let xy equal u. And that implies z equals the log of u. In partial root of terms, our chain rule is del z del x is equal to del z del u times del u del x. z is equal to the log of u. It follows then that del z del u will equal 1 on u. u is equal to xy. It follows that del u del x is equal to y. So del z del x is equal to 1 on u times y plus 1 on xy times y and that's 1 on x. And we can find del z del y in the same manner. Now let's find the second order partials. We start with the first partial with respect to x. Del z del x is equal to 1 on x equal to x to the minus 1. We differentiate that once more with respect to x. Del squared z del x squared. We bring down the exponent so that we have a minus sign. Subtract 1 from the exponent. That's equal to minus 1 on x squared. Taking the first partial with respect to y. Del z del y is equal to 1 on y. Differentiating that again with respect to y gives us del squared z del y squared is equal to minus 1 on y squared. Looking at the mixed partials, let's start with del squared z del y del x. What we're doing there, we're taking the first partial with respect to x del z del x. And then we differentiate that function with respect to y. That's equal to del del y of 1 on x. We're treating x as a constant, so that's going to equal 0. Similarly, del squared z del x del y is equal to the first partial with respect to y, del z del y. Differentiate it again with respect to x, del del x. Be del del x of 1 on y. And again, that's equal to 0. Now 